I believe his name is Richard Kanka, if I'm not mistaken. The father of the Megan who... I got you. Who is the child who was murdered and it's where we get Megan's law from is upset that Megan the Stallion used Megan's Law in a song. Yep. If you don't know what Megan's Law is, it is the the law that um, requires um, sex, sex offenders. offenders to register on a list so that um, they can be kept away from places like schools and playgrounds and um it also requires them to make it public where they're living so you would know like what neighborhoods they're in and you know mm -hmm. things like that um so this was a big deal obviously megan's law once it was came into Passed. came into play so the yeah. father I have, I have what he said by the way oh great go for it yeah i pulled it up Mm -hmm. In a statement to TMZ, Richard Kanka expressed his frustrations with the mention, saying his daughter's name being used in such a graphic and offensive way is highly offensive to the pain felt by both their family and their daughter. He has not heard the song. All right, I'm just going to Wait, wait a minute. He has, not, he has not heard the song, but says it was brought to his attention by his other children. He says... He has read the lyrics to the song and is looking into legal options. TMZ mentions that there is very little Richard can do as artists have the right to artistic freedom and allow to reference historical moments. Specs off. I didn't realize the man didn't listen to the song. I mean, I guess he said he, let, he read the lyrics and his children listened to it, so... I suppose that's sufficient. You know, I, I could totally go to my mom and say, hey, I heard this thing and it's not good. So I'll accept that. But I don't know. I don't know. I know. I don't know what to do with that. Oh, I know. I know that artists are allowed to say whatever they want, basically, yeah. on records. I know that artists are allowed to use historical events i know that it's not illegal to say someone's name it's not illegal to mention a law and really stop did she do something that might be distasteful in your opinion sure but that's part of art you can't tell picasso how to paint you can't tell an artist what words to use and not use this is no different than what was the shit with beyonce and lizzo we argued about like a year ago uh oh spaz this is no different than spaz. Oh. Okay. Yep. This is all the same. We are constantly seeing people try to limit what artists can say. I, I wish it would stop. You don't tell a painter what they can paint. You don't tell an, a, a guitar a guitar player what, what notes he can play. Like, I don't understand why rappers are the only ones that are constantly under attack of, hey, you can't say that. Why don't y'all shut the fuck up? What about that? What about you let people just use the language to create the art they feel free? Now, if you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to support it. But this shit about taking legal action against artists because they said some shit you didn't like, like, it's not defamation of character. That's, a that's whole what I'm confused thing. about. And that's why I said I don't know, because I'm confused about what you would be taking legal action for exactly like you don't Nothing. you don't own the law you you didn't pass the law that's no. where my confusion is so i under so i can sympathize with people who are sensitive to certain things right cool i i not cool but i under i understand that certain things may not like you said you may not like certain things um you know, it may it may be a sensitive or a sore subject. I get that. 
and that's fine. But like you said, it's not a crime what was done. It's not anything that... Um, I don't know. Like, was this man ever going to... And maybe this is the wrong way to think about this. But was this man ever going to hear this song? Like, what... What lead, I just want to understand, and maybe maybe there's someone out there who is watching this and understands the law in a way that we do not, and I would love for that person to please chime in and put it in the comments and let us know what is the what is the perspective from from a legal vantage point like what because it's because it's not like he owns the law it's not you know. Yes, it came from his daughter and what happened to her is heinous and it was a tragedy. And yeah, of course. It's Nobody's totally, arguing with that. It's totally right. understandable, right? Like no, yeah. no one's t trying to take away from that. But my confusion no. is what what ha like what is the legal action here? This you just saw a black woman making money off something you didn't like. They decided, oh, I'm going to take legal action to try to stop this. Listen, I, I, I got no problem. Maybe get a check off of it. Right. Maybe get a check off of it. Like, yo, fam, I, stop. Like, let let artists be artists. You know, Nas, Nas said Rockefeller died of AIDS. That was the end of his chapter. And that's the guy I chose to name your company after. Nobody, nobody tried to stop Nas from being an artist or sue Nas. These this highly sensitive bullshit is annoying to me. Like, honestly, even if I wasn't an artist, I still would feel the same way. People are allowed to use whatever they want. Nobody tells Martin Scorsese what he can't put in a movie. Martin Scorsese can put whatever he wants in a movie. In movies, there's sexual assault. In movies, there's murder. There's gore. We got movies with people's intestines coming out. Why is it that she can't say something about a law? No, shut the fuck up. Yeah, stop, stop. Stop. I think this is nonsense. It's all the same. It's just trying to limit the reach, the power, and the monetization a bit, uh, uh, um, monetization options for artists. Stop. I also want to point out that we, when we talked about this, we were trying to figure out exactly what the reference was that Nikki made to, um, no, that Meg that, made. That Meg made to. Nikki's family. Nikki's family. And this is actually the reference where Megan Thee Stallion references Megan's law. She's referring to Nikki's husband. No, yeah, we didn't know. In that part of, and we didn't, we didn't, honestly went straight over my head. Because once, <laughs> once I sat down and wasn't doing the pod and I was like, wait a minute. I know I never, I never would have known. I, know I, don't, I don't know any. I don't know any of that stuff about people's spouses, their, uh, uh, you know, arresting, arresting history. That's not the right term. Their legal history, their criminal records. I don't know none of that shit, man. Like that's her husband. That's her business. But yes, now I see why mm. dead mothers are being mentioned. And it was made our business. Just so we're clear, it was made our business because it caused some legal issues for Nikki over the last few years because there were allegations against Nikki about getting involved and trying to intervene with the victim in her husband's case. Got it. I didn't that, know that. Yes. So, so that is, so that is why I think it even means anything to anyone who knows about Nikki because it became Nikki's problem the la in the last few years. Got and I it. think I think the opinion of it has always been Nikki come on Nikki like this is this doesn't look good. Not 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 for you. So but I just wanted to say that cuz I know we <laughs> we were sitting here trying to figure it out the other day and and it was actually pretty simple or yesterday whatever it was but it was actually pretty pretty simple it's just that we you, would, you wouldn't have known but for me yeah I, 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 I knew i had more information i just wasn't thinking about that that wasn't because i don't think about nikki's husband so it's yeah